What is up, guys? It is a, another update video. As always, it is late at night. A lot of grinding, but the update is live, ready to go, ready to talk about it. Let's do it. All right, we'll start off with bug fixes. So Revenants now have the correct amount of HP and will give you the correct amount of Slayer experience. Uh, it's a little tricky because you they heal, but you only get the amount of experience for the original amount of damage you've done. So a little unfortunate in that regard, but uh, it's kind of a buff and kind of a nerf. It just depends on the monsters. Uh, some of them will be better, some of them will be worse, but it's all accurate to old school, so that's... Uh, you know the goal some items that shouldn't be tradable are no longer tradable and some that should be tradable are now tradable kind of vague but i just didn't want to make a big old list especially when most of them are uh, irrelevant and unimportant uh the main ones that you should know about the titan's boots are no longer tradable the schematic half pieces are now tradable dark weapon schematic is still not tradable but the half pieces are um and then Prototype Cloak was the other one that was made tradable. Uh, fixed a few item placeholder issues. Uh, there's just going to be a lot of those. If you come across any more, please report them. Uh, fixed a few bank chests that were not working. Um, the two that I fixed, I believe, would be... Uh, I guess I could have just <laughs> wrote them down. The Tazar uh, Fight Pits Cave area place. And then the uh, Motherload Mine. If you come across any more, just please report them. We'll... You know, eventually get to them. Revenant Maldictus now has working animations. Revenant Maldictus. If you didn't know, this came out in the last update. This is a, uh, a new wilderness god boss located in the Revenants. Uh, the, while we're at it, the Ghost Hunter Battle Axe got improved. Right now I have P-Ring, so you can't really tell, but it got buffed even more from the last update so uh yeah this thing's weak to crush if you didn't know so boom so yeah now it looks a lot better i have p-ring on so that's gonna give me a million loots actually only give me one loot that's fun uh you're interestingly enough you're guaranteed to uh, i'll go over the drops in a sec when i'm not getting attacked by a bunch of stuff yeah uh this is a perfect opportunity to go over the new uh uh the new, um, there, yeah, yeah, so, there is a new group, group, oh, fuck me, I'm retarded in my face, hole. Oh. okay, we are back on the fresh client, now, if you lost your pet, I don't know where my pet is, for some reason it didn't teleport home with me, if I go Falador, ain't here, no clue where it is, usually you would have to log out, now you can do clone clone pet, and it will come back. Um, the, uh, this pet right here will te it teleports you anywhere from it, it teleports, like you can be the 50 wilderness and it'll teleport you, it teleports you immediately no restrictions, that's what I was trying to show you but I had to update my client to get the teleport option to show up, there is a new group loot boss that is found deep in the wilderness, uh, I'll show you how to get there teleport to the uh, teleport interface <laughs> then go to uh, I believe demonic ruins yeah, demonic, I believe Demonic Ruins. Yes. Yes. And then should have them just over here. Yes, we have the King Lava Dragon is now a new group loot boss. It is a uh, kind of like Kodak where it has a really long respawn timer. I will show you the loots right now. King Lava. Obviously the pet. It is, a, uh, it is the first pet that is a legendary companion that you can get from drops. Uh, just kind of like it just made sense it, it, it all worked together uh, uh, so anyways you're guaranteed to get a group loot chest every single kill and like I said it's a group loot, it's a group boss so you know everybody can kill it uh, you can you know I'm not gonna go over too many of the loots you can kind of see for yourself it's all pretty uh, it's simple but uh, yeah nice little boss uh, you know yeah yeah uh, let's uh, teleport away right boom all right Back to the list. Revenants now have a higher weight on the Wilderness Slayer tasks. Uh, cows now have a higher weight as well. Cow, uh, cow task is always a fun one. That should be a little bit better to get. Dagonoth Princes now respawn faster. Specifically the Supreme and Rex. I believe they were like really, 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 really long compared to Prime. And now they're all the same as Prime. Uh, Zora's stats have been lowered, mostly the defenses. Uh, the most popular method for killing Zora was cannon, and that was stupid. Um, 
And obviously we nerfed that in a recent update, but I didn't want to make it so that, you know, Zolra was still just impossible to kill or anything like that. So made some tweaks. Uh, might have to either make some more or it might have been too much. We'll see. But uh, made some changes. Iron Men can now enter other players' instances. This is specifically for group Iron Men and places like God Wars and Dagonoth Kings. Uh, if you made a God Wars instance, you couldn't have your teammates come join you and that's now been fixed this also lets iron men go to other instances but uh they still have to do the majority of the damage anyways uh so i'm not you know i'm not too concerned with that kodak now respawns even slower than before but had received some new drop changes first one you're going to notice is everybody gets a group loot chest who does damage and it is currently double group loot chests from kodak so everybody gets two so, yeah, Kodak is fun. Fun right now. Everybody do Kodak. But, it, like I said, it respawns much slower than before. So, yeah. Uh, Revenant's healing ability has been slightly nerfed. As I talked about before, the Ghost Hunter Battle Axe has been buffed. The invention costs for these three schematics has been lowered. The Chinchampa Replicator, the Pirate's Transmute, and the Smelter's Pickaxe. All of them just had really high costs to make them... And it probably wasn't worth doing, so now it should be a little bit more balanced and a little bit more likely to actually want to do it. So now we get to the other changes. Got quite a few. This is a really massive update. Uh, instead of doing God Wars 2, I'm doing this. Why? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's better than nothing, right? Let's just, just, just move past it. <laughs> Suske's chest upgrade is now an item you can buy in the Blood Money shop. It's a nice little addition to this shop, which does not get the scene a lot. Uh, what the schematic does is, uh, I should have examined it for you so you can see the cost. Uh, what it does is it removes all of the barrels loot from group loot chests. So you can get every single thing that's on the table except, I hope that's the right idea, except barrels items. So you'll, ex did we get, yeah, we got, oh yeah, okay, just, we, we, went, so we went past it so fast that it, uh, I didn't, I didn't see if it yelled. So, yeah, you can see these are probably... I don't know how power overpowered they are because, like, how many how Barrow's items are there? Like, 20, 25, 24, 26, something like that. Uh, those items being removed definitely uh, makes some other items higher. Now, if you're looking at some of these items, you're probably thinking, well, those look new. Yes, Group Loot Chests also received some new items. So there's some new items in total, and the only items that were removed from this chest was the Barrows items. So that's kind of like the logic of it. Suske's created Barrows, so he takes his items back and you can no longer get them. I don't know, whatever, I liked it. Screw you. <laughs> uh, you can now recall your pet. I already talked about that with the clone clone pet. Uh, did I talk about this? I didn't talk about this, did I? Uh, there is now a new training boss, Big Mini Bear. <laughs> Big Mini Bear is similar to what Kodak was supposed to be originally, but a lot smaller scale. Um, it does respawn pretty quick, but still <laughs> slow compared to most monsters. Uh, let's look at the Dropperoonies. Big Mini Bear, nothing crazy, but it is a guaranteed hard clue scroll. So if you're a clue hunter, guaranteed hard clue. Of course, group blue chest on the table. Nice chunk of elven gold. Probably still need to make some more elven gold related balancing changes, but at least we now have the boss back because this place was always intended to have a big boss for everybody to team on. I need to just stop hearing and stuff. Uh, the Deep Wilderness... Okay, that, so that was the... Um, in, in the updates notes, I put the Deep Wilderness Volcano has exploded and something has been seen lurking around. That's the uh, the King Lava Dragon, in case you were wondering. You can now mine Amethyst and craft Amethyst darts. If you are a donator, you can use the con command con con meth, and then yeah, just mine it if you have a pickaxe and craft. It should be all the same as old school. Let me know if any issues, like always. Uh, donators can now purchase uh, pies from Romley Weeklax's pie shop. So yeah, nice. So obviously for Ironman, this is a good way to get food. Um, but the main reason I liked, uh, the main reason I did the shop anyways is because these boosts actually do work. Botanical, mushroom, dragon fruit, all of them, wild pie. I think wild pie could be really cheeky for some Ironman trying to get the Slayer boost and whatnot for whips and shit. Uh, I'll have to make sure that even works. Actually, that would be a nice uh, Mythbusters video. Can we use a wild pie to get a whip? Yeah. 
resource packs have been renamed and now provide more variety. So these were called resource packs. And when you first got them, you were kind of thinking, oh, resources like mining supplies, raw fish, lo logs, ores, gems. But no, it's like supplies as in uh, re resources as in like food and potions. So I liked, I, I liked the idea of keeping it food and potions. It just wanted it to make it more obvious. So survival rations... Uh, I would hope that that's more obvious, and then there's a lot more variety. Uh, I think there was only like six possible items. Now there's, <laughs> uh, you know, more than six. What was that? Uh, uh, Eleven. You know, what I had five new items. I feel like I added way more than that. No, come on. You look at my notepads. Notepads OP. Okay, so all the ones on the left existed before. All the ones on the right are new. Yeah. You can now receive group loot chests from Winter Tot crates. Just a couple more changes. The Adventure's Point shop now sells Farmer's Teleport Manual. Just kind of a, a more specific item that people would might want to grind out via Adventure Points. Just thought it made sense. And then the last thing mm -hmm. is you can now disassemble Vigvora's Mace, Crossbow, and Thamron's Scepter. They actually give three components. It's the first item to give three components. Corrupt, uber, and rare. And then Ancient Relic now also disassembles for rare components. That is the uh, one of the revenant items. It just forgot to add it to the list. That is it for the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Apologize for lack of videos, but you, like, yeah, we uh, just just busy week. It's been pretty bu I mean, It's going to be busy IRL this weekend too, so I'm really happy I was able to get this update out on Friday night. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, guys. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying good night. You're probably not watching this. If you're watching this and you're about to go to bed, then good night. If not, then I'm retarded.